Oh my God. You guys, my house is burning. I know she got out. I know she did. She Not the way to end a summer. Awesome travels. This has been a difficult story to share. The big question, what happened and how did it start? Three months earlier, I'd left Grand Canyon. Visited friends in Utah, then headed into the unknowns of Nevada. I fell in love with Moan, Nevada. That's the middle of absolutely nowhere. As I followed Highway 50, named the loneliest road in America by Life magazine in 1986. It was easy to find free boondocking in several places on public land not far from the historic towns of Pioche and Eli. And that allowed explorations for almost a month. Expansive high desert views, past juniper trees, across Jakey Valley to the Egan Range, where the full buck moon rose, lighting up the land. Colorful wildflowers everywhere. Threatening clouds around, but no rain fell. Lots of space for sunsets. You can easily enjoy even one single camp for my allotted 14 days. Eventually, the road called my name. As I crossed the basin and range topography, stagecoach stop ruins frequently drew me to the shoulder, sometimes every 10 miles, like an old pony instead of the Dodge Ram I drove. Camped one night to explore the short trails for Hickson Petroglyphs. As I continued towards Oregon, I saw a sign for the Sheldon National Wildlife Refuge and discovered a free 14-day campground with a warm spring. After several 100-degree days, I headed north into Oregon's Fremont National Forest and embraced the ponderosa pine trees surrounded by lovely wildflowers. Forest fire to the west changed my direction. So I continued north from Lakeview, Oregon, through Paisley to Summer Lake, and a Fremont National Forest camp high above on the Winter Rim, where I spent over a week and a half watching sunsets, birds, and butterflies. I saw my first haboob. As a storm moved soil across the dry lake bed below. Many spectacular sunsets. Sierra alerted to creatures outside the door, including a young bear not 50 feet away. By far a favorite site for summer 2023. Continuing north, I met some friends near Bend in the Deschutes National Forest and Newberry Crater National Monument. Continuing north once again along the eastern base of the Cascade Mountains in the Willamette National Forest, I ran into smoke and felt safe boondocking at the Ray Benson Snow Park, not far from Sisters, Oregon. I was lucky enough to pick the last of the huckleberries. Or at least those missed by others. Plenty of wildflowers, and the yellow jackets were thick. Yellow jackets. Then Hurricane Hillary sent rain. I gave up on the smoke going away and didn't continue north to Washington. I drove southeast to get out of the smoke and ended up at the colorful John Day Fossil Beds National Monument. Painted Hills Unit. Ancient volcanic eruptions deposited ash that weathered into soils, then solidified into claystones and siltstones. I joined a friend for a couple days at Parish Cabin Campground in the Malheur National Forest. I never found a cabin. 
stayed for a couple of days at Diamond Craters Recreation Area in the Malheur National Wildlife Refuge and shot August's full blue moon. Walking around the sinkhole, the ancient lava flow crunched underfoot like a glass puzzle. Some places are worth going back to, so I returned to the Virgin Valley Warm Spring Campground in northwest Nevada, where I met the wonderful nomads of Hannah's Caravan. Then I moved on to Mill Creek Recreation Area, an old CCC camp south of Battle Mountain, Nevada. Parked in a large site out of sight of my neighbors, and that included a picnic table, hanging pole, and trash can, free for 14 days. Spent time listening to the creek babble, watching dramatic skies and colorful sunsets. Storm rumbled across the land, leaving rainbow gifts. After a few days, Hannah's caravan arrived and set up camp not far away, but out of sight. I often joined their circle for great conversations, potlucks, 3 p.m. ice cream, and campfire. One afternoon, we saw smoke. You guys, my house is burning. I know she got out. I know she did. She had to get out. She's probably rock and roll. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The truck was engulfed by flames. Camper door open as my neighbors had used up their fire extinguishers. I ran to the camper door looking for Sierra, but the heat and smell repelled me, and everyone yelled to get away. This isn't how it happens. No cooking. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Barely got a signal through to 911, then waited from a safe distance as I watched everything precious to me go up in smoke. Come on, fire guys! Don't let this put anybody else at risk! <laughs> Boom! Ooh. Oh my god! <laughs> this is <laughs> Oh lordy! <laughs> It's fucking happening! No oh, here comes the fire, guys. There they are. Oh, there they are, good. It's my, my house. Oh, sorry, me. Where's my kitty? It took 20 minutes for fire trucks to arrive, and in less than an hour, there was nothing left but smoke. My Sierra and everything I had with me gone. I was in a total state of shock. Even felt like a murderer. Back at the caravan camp, many members busily set up a temporary home for me. The tent was equipped with a mattress, sheets, blanket, pillow, chair, table, light, snacks, and clothes. I was well taken care of and embraced by love. God. Well, guys, you know, we had uh, uh, an accident last day afternoon. It wasn't an accident. That was a happening. Okay, it was a big happening. Anyway, that's what's left of the Geo Gypsy mobile and camper. Yeah, that's what's left. There's my cast iron fry pan. It kind of made it, you know? Oh, that was probably a can of beans. Everyone's first question is, how did it start? We'll never know for sure. 98% will blame the propane refrigerator, though it was the last thing to burn. I only had my phone, water bottle, and the clothes I was wearing. No ID whatsoever. Lost my collection of jewelry, mostly old sterling silver and turquoise, made and worn with love. The worst was losing my fur baby. Several people helped me search for Sierra in hopes that she had escaped. I mourned and held tight, moving on with the caravan in Tim's bus, Hannah, of nomad land fame. Thankful for life. Now, 
four months later, reflecting back was painful. Now, it's time to move forward. And that's what I'm doing. I hope you'll follow along. I'll continue to share as I'm able. Please like and subscribe to help with my motivation. You know, that's like push down here. Thanks. Have a great day. I am a happy camper.